We all like procedural things, like procedural textures, buildings, effects, and so on. And I personally feel like my life would be a lot better if it was procedural. Just think about it. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of the best procedural Blender add-ons, so without further ado, let's jump right in. Actually, before we do that, I wanted to let you guys know that the Blender market is having a huge sale right now, which includes discounts on the majority of products like add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. And if you don't know where to start, you just need to look at the description of this video to find the best Blender resources. So we're gonna start with the Sanctus Library add-on, which is a growing library of currently 375 high-quality procedural materials with adjustable settings, which is the most important thing. For example, for the stone tiles floor materials, you have the possibility to change their offset, surface, water level, etc. And for the weathering tiles materials, you can control the number of cracks, missing pieces, dirtiness, and grunge. The best part is the developers are adding each month a few materials to the library, and they are categorized into different categories in the M panel for quick access. There are also two shaders available in the library, as well as some special shaders such as animated rain effects. This add-on is great, and I highly recommend it. The next add-on is new, but it is extremely interesting. This add-on allows you to create full-on city alley environments, and you can do this for your scenes in no time. It is called Procedural Alleys, and because it's built on Blender's powerful geometry nodes, you can customize this however you want. You can find two types of alleys that you can create using the add-on. You have front alleys, where you can add street lights and power lines to transform your alley into a street full of life. Or you can use the back alleys, and these are a narrower and darker with a lot of back stairs, pipelines, containers, and wires hanging between the walls. You know, the stuff you see in movies and video games. So once you create your alley, you can of course change the basic settings, like the height and the width of each building, and customize the location and amount of details on the walls. But you can also change things like curtains on windows, and how many signs you want to add, and how high they are from the ground. The good thing is the add-on comes with many assets like power lines, air conditioners, and so on. Now, from creating alleys to doing something more fun which is damaging stuff, we have the OCD add-on that allows you to add damage to one or multiple selected objects in your scene by simply clicking the Make Damage button. You can then adjust the scale and the amount of damage or even select noise types to finally apply the changes without losing the original object's integrity. The add-on comes with several quick shortcuts to speed up the workflow and get more realistic results. The interesting thing is, the OCD add-on automatically adds a material layer for the damaged parts that is created which makes it easier to quickly add materials and create more believable results. This add-on is gonna be perfect for modeling objects such as walls, tombs, gravestones, ancient ruins, columns, roadblocks, you name it. Now back again to procedural textures, we have a great add-on from Ducky 3D. This add-on is called Real-Time Materials, and it is basically a huge library that contains over 290 procedural materials. However, the most interesting thing about the add-on is that it is not just a library of materials because a lot of add-ons can do that. However, rather, it gives you the ability to apply complex materials in a short period of time. And you no longer need to spend hours playing around with nodes to get your hands on high-quality 3D material. The materials are fully compatible with both Cycles and EV, and also you can have full control over the materials, where you can change the colors, the roughness, also change the values for the patterns. It contains a wide range of categories that you can choose from, like metal, glass, wood, leather, surface imperfection, cloth, paint, and so much more. Now we're going to talk about an interesting add-on called Bagapai. The new Bagapai update introduced a lot of tools and improvements to the already jam-packed free modifier, which includes productivity and workflow improvement features that any Blender user will need to save time and streamline their process. So Bagapai offers a lot of tools like scattering tools, parametric architectural presets, management, and optimization tools in addition to other stuff. The add-on has two versions. 
a free version and a Bagapai asset version, which includes the normal Bagapai modifier, but also more than 400 assets and demo files. With the recent updates, it brought 70 new assets, 60 new biomes for the Geoscatter add-on, rewriting the IV generator, and much more. We already talked about Bagapai in a previous video, so check it out for more details. Another add-on that I really like is True Terrain from TrueVFX. The add-on allows you to create environments in Blender easily, which is a huge time saver. You can create terrains using Blender's built-in ad system with the provided height maps. You can also add materials to the terrain you created, where you can explore up to 165 seamless terrain textures to produce realistic landscapes. Another cool feature about the add-on is that it enables you to add snow using the shader and mapping system, and it also enables you to scatter assets and nature across the terrain, then modify their position with the advanced scatter system. True Terrain offers a lot more features that you can try for yourself. Now, jumping to something else, CG Matter has recently also released a new add-on called Curvify. It is basically a generator kind of tool that allows you to generate a lot of curved stuff, such as barbed wires, chains, clouds, curtains, and feathers, in addition to fences, dangling cables, rainbows, and roads, as well as ropes, rivers, snow, and tentacles. The add-on is based on geometry nodes, so it works seamlessly and it is very easy to use. It also has a free plan, so make sure to try it and see what it can do. From creating curves to now creating something much more mesmerizing, which is an add-on called Fractal Machine created by Bad Normals. Fractals can transform a straightforward scene into a nuanced, ethereal, and never-before-seen environment. And you can generate as much variations as you want. The add-on helps you to create various fractals from Apollonian and Kalinian to Mendelbox and Mendelbulb to the Quaternion for the Julia fractal. Additionally, it has 20 presets that allow for quick experimentation and generating a virtually limitless variety of shapes. And if you want to create cities and urban environments, we have Urbaniac. The add-on is basically a library of ready-to-use assets that you can kit bash in your scene, but it comes with more than 180-20 photorealistic assets made with semi-procedural materials. And what I like about Urbaniac is, unlike other asset packs, it has a dedicated interface that you can use to control the assets depending on the one you are using in your scene. In addition to the semi-procedural materials that enable you to achieve results with a high level of customization, especially when creating environments like cities. So if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also take a look at some of our previous videos. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.